Hello, my name is Craig Basher. I'm an application engineer for Advanced Solutions. Today I want to show you a little tip on using the marking menu with Autodesk Convincer. So we're in the product. If you right click, you'll display the marking menu. The marking menu contains eight wedges and an overflow menu. This is also called the radial menu. Now the radial menu can be accessed by using a gesture motion. So right clicking and doing a swipe with your right left mouse button activates the command. You can customize that marking menu and you can create an additional marking menu if you hold down control. By default there is only one marking menu or control marking menu that has been defined and that's found in the sketch environment. So if I create a new sketch, if I right click, I get one marking menu. But if I hold down my control key then right click, you'll see that I get constraints. That is what we call a user defined marking menu. Now if I get out of my sketch here and I go back into my home screen, if I hold down control while I'm inside this uh, area, the user defined area for an unselected object, you'll see that I have a marking menu that's been predefined. Versus if I let go of my control button, then right click. Now, to define the marking menu, you would right click on the ribbon here and go to customize user commands. And then you would go over into the marking menu tab. So, with nothing selected in the part environment, I get this marking menu. But if I hold down control, what happens? Well, this is the marking menu that I've created. And this is how you make this. So I'm going to go back to the original state by hitting restore and clicking OK. So now if I right click, I get this. But if I hold down control and right click, I get the exact same menu. So define, to define that user defined marking menu, we just take and select which uh, environment, so each environment can have its own marking menu, a control marking menu, or a user defined marking menu. And then you go and select the sub environment. What do I want to add to the marking menu? So then you would come over here and then pick commands that you want to use. So for instance, you may pick on things like um, split tool or move bodies, things that you don't commonly use but would like to see in the marking menu. So you can do a search on those. Um, all you have to do is pick on the area here and then pick on the command that you want to add. If I want to go to the next one here, let's just use another command here called a, uh, move bodies. What else can we can add here? We can add any commands that we want. Let's try combine. And we'll just add a few here. So now if I click OK, then when I right click, I get my main marking menu, but if I hold down control and then right click, you'll see that I get this marking menu. So this is the user defined marking menu and you can set it for uh, a lot of the different environments for Inventor. So enjoy customizing and have a great day.